Hello my wonderful crypto people and welcome back to another episode of the daily crypto news still providing crypto news every single day <laughs> but I've noticed that a lot of people are exiting crypto I mean I noticed it in the views and the comments and everything so this time around let me know down below if you're still excited about crypto let me know down below having said that Today we got some juicy news, and when I say juicy, oh boy do I mean juicy. Take a look at this. Coinbase is facing some massive class action lawsuit over unregulated security sales. So what a person woke up one day with was, hey, I've been using Coinbase for a little while, but they transact other things than Bitcoin and Ethereum, so I want to sue them. I want to sue somebody today and it's going to be Coinbase because I feel like it. Because at the end of the day, some person is suing on behalf of everybody, all the Coinbase users. And they're basically saying there's been a, a whole bunch of violations of securities laws and about 79 different assets are in the wrong here. And so they got to pay up and it's going to be a very interesting case. If you're wondering exactly what they're seeking for, they're seeking for compensation. Um, so to seek damages, but also prevent Coinbase from continuing its illegal practices. And at the end of the day, you might think that this is nice for you, right? This is for the people that use Coinbase. This is nice for... No, not really. If they were to allege that one or two specific cryptos were securities, I'd be fine with that. But they're trying to claim that the majority, or actually everything except for Bitcoin and ETH, that is on Coinbase are unregistered security sales that they're making money off of and so directly they're going against the the whole premise of crypto and again i see this as just the most don't mean to i don't know if i, I can offend anybody but i see this as like one of the most american things where it's like you know what let's sue them why <laughs> because we can we can <laughs> So why, 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 why them? Well, because who else? These guys are looking ripe to be sued. Because I'm thinking, well, if they're not crypto enthusiasts, then why do they do it? Why do they trade on there? Um, you know, because why would you buy, sell crypto if you're not really into that? And if they are, then why would you kind of shoot yourself in the foot, you know, by kind of taking down the entire crypto realm? Maybe these guys are really Bitcoin maximalists. Then again... Are they then suing Coinbase for something they've never done? Are they trying to sue them? Why? Then again, this is not the first Coinbase lawsuit, nor is this one completely new, if I remember correctly. As far as I remember, this is like an older case that's been amended, but I remember as well something in these lines. Already facing a multitude of lawsuits over alleged market manipulation and insider trading. I think that's the one we can go for, though. If you're trying to sue somebody for some... I think insider trading is always a nice one because, well, it's hard to prove, but that one is literally toxic. You know, they're hurting the people. That's good um, to sue somebody for that, so to speak. But suing a platform for kind of, I don't know, theoretically speaking, making money off of the people, but kind of also helping people facilitate transactions. I don't know about that one, Chief. Then again, there was actually one other very big um, I guess, how do you call this? Like, not an invitation, but a warning of Craig Wright, who basically said, apparently, this is just something I quote, right? Because he's apparently throwing a lot of legal action at people. I don't want to mess around with him too much. The big, He wanted to throw out the biggest, or launch, the biggest legal case in human history against Coinbase later this year, having already instructed his lawyers to send out letters to Coinbase and other exchanges, warning them over their use of the Bitcoin name to promote unrelated products. Dr. Wright has been banging that drum for some time. At the start of 2021, he wrote a blog post in which he made a prescient prediction about what is in store for Coinbase. Quote, again, quote, I am more than happy to wait to see the executives of Coinbase weasel and lie their way into telling everybody that they had no idea and that they don't believe it. When they do, I'll be there, ready to provide evidence to the contrary. When the executives of Coinbase attempt to give evidence, showing that they had no idea that XRP was a controlled security, I will happily demonstrate their perjury, perjury and show how they intentionally overlooked the issue among many others. So, for all my XRP enthusiasts out there, this is not the man for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's for sure. Here officially, by the way, was James Fillon with The Post. So, Coinbase, Nico thing, suit filed against Coinbase alleging offer and sale of 
um, unregistered securities and listing 79 different tokens, including XRP. Thanks to Nico for the tip. Page 200 and, or sorry, yes, 261 page complaint. Have not read it yet, nor should you, I think. Why would you? Um, originally filed October 8th, 2021, and now officially amended about a week ago. But the entire crypto space is kind of finding it out now again because, well, it's been a while since we talked about this, thought about this, and it's kind of been a while since we put all these things together. So just remember, it's going to be an interesting battle because they listed and sold unlicensed crypto. It's going to be an interesting one. But wait, there is more. Yes, the reason I actually brought this up was partially because it kind of popped up on my radar. I kept saying it again over and over and over. And even though I knew that this is not a new thing necessarily, people are claiming or sort of reclaiming that it's a new thing and news articles are shouting it out everywhere. So I kind of wanted to throw it in here as a new thing as well, purely because it's been revamped and apparently amended about a week ago. Now, Meta, as you guys all know, Meta from kind of Facebook, is also hit with a lawsuit over failure to squash crypto scams. Again, this is one where I can kind of stand behind and say, yeah, maybe. So Facebook apparently hasn't done enough to prevent fraudulent ads, Australian regulated claims, and so apparently they've been hit with a lawsuit over in Australia for that specific reason. Now, I've already described before how I find it really difficult to uh, get a good line going here because, well, define not done enough. You know, that's a really, really difficult little uh, ballpark. Facebook denies responsibility. And again, from some way, I can really feel that. You know, Facebook has policies, for example, and I find it hard to say, for example, that Facebook ads cannot include yada, 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 when it's the people responsible to kind of accept. Let me say it like this. As long as the advertisement is honest, or um, you know, following the policy that is reasonable. Meaning, for example, they can post, hey, trade your crypto on here. And I don't think they should be able to post, hey, uh, buy this now because it will go up. If you guys see the difference there, if somebody says this is the newest cryptocurrency, check it out. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. The newest is kind of a difficult one. But in reality, I find that they should be allowed to post that ad. Even if people lose money on that, it's your own damn choice to buy it. It's just about giving false promises that I always care for or um, sort of false wording in the sense of if you're just spilling out a lie, saying you've partnered with Apple, for example, and it's not the case. That type of stuff should not be allowed to. Um, but I didn't read the full story because I don't really care whatsoever. Facebook is in like a thousand different lawsuits all the time. So it's not as if this is like the newest thing or anything like that. And this whole debacle about them doing this misleading or at least promoting the mislead of ads, whatever, we'll see the result and then we'll see whether or not they were in the wrong or whatnot. Maybe they'll ban crypto ads for a little while again. Maybe, heck, maybe it's even banned right now. I don't know. I don't care. It's not really important for the future of crypto. And it's just another small little hurdle to overcome. But at the end of the day, that's all it is. Just a small little hurdle. Talking about small little hurdles, make sure you check out my Instagram at TheDustyBC. If you're not checking it out just quite yet, I will find you. And I will, um, you know, let me put it like that. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram at TheDustyBC. Oh the Twitter, I mean, the SDBC, we are officially verified over on there. So it's going to be a little bit easier to find. I'm still finding that a really cool thing. And by the way, if you guys are over in Dubai, make sure you check out the AIBC summit soon, but we'll talk about that later. I'll do a formal part of a video talking about everything. So don't worry about it just quite yet. Also check out TikTok, DustyBC on there. Haven't really posted too much, but I'll be doing that soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, moving on just briefly to the Bitcoin price. What a interesting move we've had over the last couple of hours. Bitcoin's last four hours were just pumping unconditionally, basically, until about 40 minutes ago. And right now it's having some very volatile price action. I basically said, guys, already right here on my five minute crypto channel, I'm opening a long position. I think my stop loss was at like about, I don't know, I said it in the video just now. I kind of forgot where exactly it is. I think like 38.5 thousand and we opened our long at I think like 39 thousand or so. And I closed a good part of it at $42,000 exactly, which is the target area I described in my video. But if you'd like to have more updates on price, on everything that I'm thinking, Twitter, and my Telegram channel are gonna be the ones for you. So there's gonna be a link down below for my Telegram group and just follow my Twitter. You'll, you'll have all the most important updates uh, on those two. Or for video updates, 5 Minute Crypto. It's another channel of mine. All right, that actually was a lot of information in a row, I guess, huh? But it's gonna be good. It'll be fine. <laughs>
All right, so this Coinbase lawsuit reeks of Gary Gensler's entire approach to crypto. God bless Google search. Lo and behold, what are the odds that Gary Gensler's and Philippe Selende just happens to be on the same charity? Hmm, it's got 600 likes. Complaint reads like a, a few of Gary Gensler's recent interviews, starting with one he did with Jim Cramer. Um... I didn't actually fully check this out, so I don't know the full details of it. Okay, we got Philip Zelindi. We got um, partners, so a thousand to twenty-five hundred bucks. Coinbase lost a reeks of Gary Gensler's approach to crypto. We got Gary Gensler in the five thousand to ten thousand dollar range. Demand for jury trial. Hmm. Okay, should have definitely checked this out a little bit further. Read it again. So this Coinbase loss reeks of Gary Gensler's entire approach to crypto. God bless Google search, lo and behold. What are the odds that Gary Gensler and Philippe Selende just happens to be on the same charity? Okay, okay, it took a couple of my brain cells, but after doing a little bit of digging, because, again, remember, I've already typed in Selende on here and I couldn't find it, but apparently he's just part of the law firm, which is uh, described. So, to quickly see the connections now, because now it's all become apparent, you can see here, demand for jury trial, 1108, plaintiffs demand a trial by jury for all issues, so, so uh, triable. And then on the right here, it says, respectfully submitted, um, this side and the right side is by Jordan A. Goldstein and you can see here Selendi, uh, Ellsberg, let's put it like that and if we look a little bit further you can first of all see in his first post that out of that specific law firm the Selendi works there and again he's in the same charities as Gary Gensler but I guess it gets more interesting because a digital asset investor also shared the attorney suing Coinbase used to work for the guy um, used to work for the guy from Maryland where Gary is from that was nominated assistant attorney general under Obama. At the same time, Gary Gensler was being nominated to head of the CFTC. Huh, small world. And in this case here, we're talking about Jordan A. Goldstein, who again is also connected. You can see her special counsel to the assistant attorney general, National Security Division, 2008-2009, Jordan Goldstein. And we can also see David Chris, Attor assistant attorney general for national security. Okay. This kind of goes over my ladder a little bit, mostly because these are a lot of connections, a lot of them, and so we have to kind of accept it for whatever we read, because at the end of the day, we don't know if this is taking it too far or if it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, you guys can most likely understand here, again, these things are very coincidental, but I'm not going to say they're not, you know, just because we don't honestly know. It could just be a coincidence that these guys know each other. Then again, them going after crypto... Um, like this, or at least trying to represent garbage sort of against crypto. Following, funny enough, Gary Gensler's vision of most cryptos are garbage. It's interesting as well. All right, let's 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 cover some good stuff though. Are you ready? Ripple's ODL product, XRP, close to achieving global coverage. Yes, guys, things are looking really good for XRP. Apparently, Ripple's ODL product, close to achieving global coverage. Um, Ripple's flagship on demand liquidity service currently boasts 22 destin uh, destination markets, which is kind of small, but apparently they're going to be pulling on the freaking gears. I don't know exactly how I can say that better, but they're going to go hard at it, and I'm excited about that. The article here is covering exactly that, and just generally speaking, guys, I am pretty excited. Then all I wanted to say about it as well was that I honestly believe that Ripple's focus for the XRP ledger, specifically with their 1 billion grant. Oh man, there could be a lot of things that are gonna happen. And I want to show you guys my trade, but apparently I'm logged out of Bybit. So I have to do that later. Thank you guys all so much for watching though. Make sure you check out my socials, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Oh, test, test. It's a little bit slow. Annoying, not so sure why it's so slow, but I'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today.